What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be te teaching you guys how fire alarm systems work. I know there are a couple of people out there who have made the video, but um, I just want to show you how my systems work and basically how similar they are to other systems. So as you can see right here, we have our manual pull station right here. These are found in basically every commercial building with a fire alarm system. Um, and then going up, we have our notification appliances, which are also found in every commercial building with alarm systems. And the smoke detectors and heat detectors that are all found in the buildings as well. So now, the device that controls the entire system is your fire alarm control panel. Now this is considered the brain of the fire alarm system. So as you can see, I have a one, 125 volts coming into the panel, which this gives the power the panel its AC power. Then we have a signal transformer, which is basically breaks it down from 125 to 24 volts for the circuits. So, when, so for example, when we're gonna when you, when your school has a fire drill or something, and when they pull this down, it tells you what zone it was in, and what device it is. If it's addressable, it'll tell you what device and what zone it was in. But so if I just pull it, I have either it's either gonna be in zone one or zone two. So and then we have our controls, acknowledge, alarm silence, reset, and walk test. Walk test is for um what uh, the alarm technicians do. And then we have our zone enable disable. So if they if um you have the alarm companies out at your um building or whatever and they need to do some work on the system they can just disable the zone so as you can see we have two um, 12 volt batteries which are put together as one to wired in series to make it 24 volts this is used for battery backup in case uh, you lose AC power due to a power outage these will kick in right away so as you can see my fire alarm panel has um, four LEDs for each zone Fire alarm, supervisory, trouble, and maintenance. Okay. So, fire alarm, we just described that. Now, supervisory is what, so like, let's say like a tamper switch or something or a valve gets open. Uh, that will show up as a supervisor, but you have to program it to do that. And then trouble. Now, system trouble is where, let's say, a wire gets cut and your alarm panel cannot see the resistor on that zone. And a resistor is... Just basically this. If I can get it out, that'd be nice. This is this is a resistor, 4.7 kilo ohms, or, or similar. To that. Yeah. And this is what goes on the last device of the circuit. Every fire alarm system has this, and they are required to. Um. So what I'm going to demonstrate right now is the alarm system in trouble. So let me just put the camera down. I have to use two hands for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unplug the batteries, and as you can see, I have, I'm going to press the acknowledge, okay, that acknowledge the system, and it's telling me that there's a system trouble, and that there's a power trouble, right, down here, that, this little LED uh, is the battery LED, telling me that the batteries have been disconnected from the system. So if the power were to go out, and these are um, lit up, you would have no uh, backup battery, unless this was plugged in. So, now let's say the batteries get uh, plugged back in again and everything goes back to normal. So I'll just plug it in real quickly. Okay. Now the system has gone back to normal because it self-resets itself. As you can see, the LEDs have turned off and the system is normal. So, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate the fire alarm portion. Now, if you have epilepsy or seizures, uh, do not watch this. So let's go ahead and let's say, okay, the school's about to have a fire drill. So what they're going to basically do is just this. As you can see, the notification appliances are active. The horn strobes are gone. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press the acknowledge. Okay, I just silenced them. So it tells me that there has been a fire alarm in zone one. And that was this pull station right here, which is labeled zone one. 
So now what to do now what you're gonna do is some people always say you can't silence the alarms with the pull station activated and the yeah you can. You just can't reset the system with it activated. So now you're probably wondering how come when you reset the pull station the alarms are still going? Well, every fire alarm system is base it's called a locking circuit. So once this gets activated, the fire alarm system takes over. And until you press system reset, it's going to uh, still go off. It doesn't matter if the pull station's reset or not. So now I press reset. Notification appliances have gone back to normal. And the system is normal. The fire alarm LED and everything else has turned off and gone back to normal. Now, every system with a fire alarm system, or yeah, obviously, has what's called system initialization, which means when when you plug in the system or whatever, okay, and it's getting powered. As you can see, I have my smoke detector right here, which takes about roughly tw 10 to 20 seconds to start up. So that means it's, it initializes. Um, and same thing with these addressable ones. They take 20 seconds to initialize, which means that means it's, it, that's their startup time. Okay, so pull stations have if you're if it's an addressable pull station there will be some initialization it depends on what pull station it is this one is just immediate startup so now when the last thing i'll tell you guys before i end the video is when the fire alarm goes off people always wonder well how does the fire department know okay so here's how this works so you can see i have a firewatch 411 ud uh dialer and yes my technician has the the uh, programmer for this i have to get it so what this does as you can see, we have a, we have four channels right here. Channel one is labeled as alarm, and channel two is labeled as trouble. Okay, and then there are two phone jacks on the side of it. Now, as you can see, we have our terminals that are coming from the fire alarm control panel, which, if it was my system, would be wired into these two uh, relays, trouble and alarm. So we have our common, our trouble, and our normal. And then for the alarm, it's common, normally closed, and normally open. So when the alarm goes off. It'll go from it'll go to channel one from this relay and we'll tell the fire alarm company that the system is in alarm and they will send the fire department. So and do not pull any fire alarms in public buildings unless it's an emergency. I cannot stress that enough. Okay, I've seen people do it and it's not worth it. You will get caught. Uh, my uncle's a police officer and he does fingerprint tests. So it doesn't matter if you wear gloves or anything, you will still get caught. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope this helped a couple of people who were wondering how they work. If you have any questions or comments, please just comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, the system test, I got, I'm doing it today, so stay tuned for that. So guys, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon.